Let's solve part C now. So suppose that the farm doesn't exist anymore and now there is a new village with a thousand inhabitants. Uh, okay, these people, the, the villagers, don't like the smell of the paint and that causes a cost to them and that cost is given by this function. What's going to be the Pigouvian tax? Now, what's the intuition here? We have another external cost. That's because the people don't like the smell. So H is the external cost that we can think about now. Uh, the Pigouvian tax must lead the company to produce for this society, optimally for this society. How can it do so? Well, we first must know what is the optimal level for the society, meaning that we have to find out the social optimal again. So under the social optimal level, we know that the marginal benefit is going to be equal to the marginal cost of production of the paint plus the marginal external cost. So our first step would be to find out the marginal external cost. And we know that the marginal external cost is the derivative of the external cost function. So the marginal external cost would be equal to the derivative of this function with respect to quantity. So 2q derivative with respect to q is just 2 plus 1 over 4 times q squared derivative is 1 over 4 times q squared derivative with respect to q. That's 2q. Now 4 and 2 cancel out. So we have over here 4 and 2 cancel out. And we're left with 2 plus 1 over 2 times the quantity. Now that would be the marginal external cost. We know the marginal cost. We found it in the... Uh, previous video or two videos ago, the marginal benefit is the price at, at which we're selling the paint. So that would be equal to 20 equals to the marginal cost, which is 5 plus 1 over 2 times the quantity, 5 plus 1 over 2 times the quantity, and the marginal external cost would be equal to 2 plus 1 over 2 times the quantity, 2 plus 1 over 2 times the quantity. Let's solve the math over here to see what we get. So we're left with 20 equals 2. Now on this side, what do we have? We have 5 plus 2, which is equal to 7, and a half Q plus a half Q makes 1 Q. So 7 plus Q. Now, what would be the socially optimal level of the paint? Well, that would be 20 minus 7, which is equal to 13. Now, with this in mind, how can we make the company produce 13 units only? Well, we must charge a tax, which would be equal to the marginal external cost at the social level. So at QS. And now let's look at the intuition why this makes sense. Well, that's just because in this relationship as we have it over here, the marginal benefit equals to the marginal cost plus the marginal external cost, we get, we get to the social optimal level. Now, if we replace the marginal external cost with a tax that the company has to pay, because under this case, he has to provide for the society, that would be great. But if he doesn't provide for the society, then the idea is that the government forces it to do so. So instead of this, it it implies it forces a tax. That is the Pigouvian tax that we're looking for. Now, with this tax in mind, what would be that optimal level? Well, as we said, marginal external cost at the social optimal level. So what's that? The marginal external cost we just found, that's 2 plus 1 over 2 times the quantity. And the social optimal level of the quantity is equal to, is equal to 13, meaning that the tax, the optimal tax, will be equal to 2 plus 1 over 2 times the social optimal level, which is equal to 13. So 1 over 2 times 13. 13 divided by 2 is 6.5 plus 2 is equal to 8.5. So that would be the optimal tax. Hope this makes sense and we are done.